Hello everyone, my name is Lettuce and welcome to the clan. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I am so sorry that this video is being shot today instead of last night. It's because I went to take a small little nap and I woke up this morning and I was like, Woo, I did not do the self-appointed experts comments. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to do it in the morning when I get to the office and here we are. So anyways, guys, uh, let's get into your comments because you guys came through yesterday after the two videos that, that I posted. So let's start with Princess Mkunu who says, oh my clan is our new advocate Mshololo requesting our metric certificates. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> So you're taking it from uh, that little uh, rant that I had about people that say we are defending murderers when we are not. We're just seeking for justice. It's just unfortunate that they misunderstand that part. And then we have Jonathan who says, I like your analysis and the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle are falling in place. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for that. Nomsha says, so was he supposed to show the drugs and pointing or to just clarify the drugs were there. I do not know. That is something that I think these guys were just doing what you would call a, a process. No, no, we did the procedure. But what confused me was the, the witness himself. What exactly were you going to point out? Were you going to point out the place where Senzo Mayor was murdered? Were you going to point out where the drugs were at? Or you were going to point out where you used to sell the drugs? Or you were going to point out where the drug, uh, what is his name, um, the chemist is at? What were you going to point out exactly is what I was so confused about. And then if you guys know anything about what exactly was being pointed out here, please comment in the comment section. I would highly appreciate that because... Uh, you know, when you lie, you, you lies, lies have short legs. I don't know if, you, if we were ever educated or home trained that, listen, lies have uh, short legs. You know, they don't go that far. They get tired real quick. And that's when the truth creeps in and says, hi, this is actually the truth. And then how are you going to be at that moment? Are you not going to be embarrassed? Are you not going to be embarrassed? And then we go to uh, Iconic, uh, who's laughing? <laughs> Why not? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not quite sure what that is about. Uh, Nomshe says, so was, okay, I, I already read Nomshe. And then we got ourselves a super thanks from uh, our friend Tahila of $3. Thank you so much, Tehila, for that. Highly appreciated. Then we have Goodman who says, uh, we need those Alberton cops to come and explain why they refuse to sign the accused uh, out. They know something that could be crucial in this case. Something is fishy here. I agree with you, Goodman, 100% on that one. What was it that they were afraid of? That is why I do not believe that uh, the witness did not know who the suspect was and what he was accused of. He lied to understand about that. Uh, Sia Bulela says uh, both accused number one and two were basically detained unconstitutionally to elicit the scripted confession. And we are expected to believe that Rata and Baloi are for justice. It's true when they say it's about who you know and what do you have. Yes, I 100% agree with that. I 100% agree with that. Uh, Victor says, Baloi is the most corrupt prosecutor I have ever seen. I would not uh, say corrupt, but I would say unethical. He is very unethical. Maybe you are, mm, there's a thin line. Let's just put it that way. There's a thin line. So I will not 100% disagree with you. But for me, as a professional who's supposed to know that you discover every document you have to the defense for a fair trial, that is uh, the, on the grounds of ethicalness as well as the law. The law uh, prescribes that. And so he, he definitely, I felt that the judge ought to at least make a complaint about him, if not reprimand him. Uh, Tabo says, the part about the statement not being discovered got to me. I mean, Baloi is getting away with a lot, of, a lot under Judge Rata. He should have been chastised by the judge and because this appears 
to be dishonest, dishonesty and brings into disrepute, disrepute the integrity of attorneys, advocates. The whole case is messed up with so many mistakes by this witness and Zungu. I agree with everything you said that far, Tabo, 100%. I mean, how is it possible to identify and correct errors on the day where evidence is being given? Under oath, you are making corrections. <clears throat> to add our icing on the cake, Baloy identified the error when he leads the evidence. How is that ethical? And how is it ethical for the judge to say, yeah, make the error, the corrections, it's all, it's all right. It is shocking what is happening in that court. I mean, I do not know anymore. Gabsina says that there is no doubt that the judge is biased in favor of Baloyi and it is very annoying. The good thing though is that the judge will be bound by the constitution in terms of violation of the rights of the accused. That's the only thing that is going to have this entire case thrown out the constitution hence i am inclined to believe that the purported confessions shall not be admitted in evidence i also don't believe they are going to be admitted into evidence i think judge rada in as much as we believe that his uh verdict is going to be guilty or admit or admit admitting or admitting these uh, confessions he is pinned against the wall by the constitution Section 35 of the Constitution has him pinned against the wall. Section 14 of the Constitution, because of why he actually dismissed or uh, rendered inadmissible accused number two's uh, uh, confession. What do you call this? Uh, that part, that statement, is it a statement that was admitted? Oh, that, that the recording that was uh, uh, inadmissible. It turns that entire trial within a trial an unconstitutional process as we speak, as far as I'm concerned. And therefore, this entire case is going to be thrown out on the basis of the Constitution. I agree with you there. I 100% agree with you. Uh, where were we? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I agree with you, Gabsile, there. Uh, Siabule says that Dan I almost said right there. <laughs> Siabulena says that Khatebe is a liar and he is too evasive. I'm very disappointed with Rata's behavior. Why not reprimanding uh, Baloy's behavior because it is not the first time he is doing this. That is so true. And then I think the reason why he's getting away with it, I'm talking Baloy, is because the judge at one point defended him when the same defense who said, hey, we are having documents that are being deliberately being withheld by the state. And then the judge came back. I don't know. It was the same Monday that he asked, uh, what you call this, uh, Zungu to go and fetch. This was the same Monday when he came with that judgment and he was scathing. Instead of reprimanding uh, Baloi, he reprimanded the defense. He says uh, that gentleman, uh, Advocate Baloi, will not jeopardize his career that he has built over the years for not discovering documents uh, to the defense. Here we are. And this is not the first time. Why is he not going back and say, you know what? I take back my word, Baloy. I am going to lodge a complaint against you if you continue doing this. This is unethical. This is against the law. And it is not correct for the, the people that stand accused. It's unfair. But no, he keeps quiet and then he turns the other way or bury his head in the sand. No, no, I agree that. They treated accused number one as the most dangerous person they have ever seen, but this can only tell, uh, can tell you that those police didn't want to be in an unlawful act of Geninda, Geninda Karata. Um, yeah, but we want them to understand, uh, we want them, we want them to express it themselves that, hey, listen, we saw discrepancies here, there, and there, and I don't want to attach my name because I'm thinking about my future, my career, my pension, and things of that nature. Yeah, I, I, we want them to understand. Uh, Mommy says, oh, Momimu says that the Albertine police didn't want to sign and uh, hand over because they had seen the breaking of rules. I believe so too. So they didn't want to be involved already. The 48 hour rule, I agree that uh, Momi. Oh, mommy. 
Uh, Lindiwe says, why is the judge not apprehending Baloy uh, about this withholding info from the defense? Because uh, this is not the first time he is doing that. Like I've said on this channel, and then somebody actually challenged me on this one, and I said the judge and the state are in bed together, figuratively, of course. So why would the judge reprimand his bad buddy? Hmm? Why? He wouldn't. Uh, Mommy says uh, Longwe used his dad's gun the to cover up. Officers took a gun, which was uh, for exhibit, which is the taxi violent case, which, by the way, accused number three is actually serving a prison sentence for, and that is sub judicare. Not sub judicare. Uh, je double jeopardy. Double jeopardy. Double jeopardy. Uh, those in the house say the one that killed Senzo is different one. Yes, they said it had a wheel, which we now we know is a uh, 38 special or a revolver, as they call it sometimes. Senzo is diff uh, was a different one uh, made compared to one officers of injustice exhibiting in this case. Yeah, they are exhibiting a, a one 9mm pistol with a 9mm uh, head that with this channel, I mean, that this uh, community called the clan believe it was planted. Yes, we do believe it was planted. Uh, Rita M says, Baloi is on strike six. Oh, okay. Rita M says, Baloi is on strike six now for not showing all the evidence to the defense and the judge is not reprimanding him. That is true. Possibly even more than six times, eh? Whew. Pedro says, Clancy's hello. If the judge was so visibly nervous giving his ruling on the recordings, how can we believe that the accused was calm while is giving the damning statements? Questionable. Imagine that. A whole judge that is supposedly we believe is innocent and he's unbiased. He reads a judgment and drinking multiple sips of water and he's shaking like a leaf. And you're asking yourself, sir, are you all right? What's burning you? And then you have uh, these two accused who were, I don't even possibly, who were traumatized out of the torture and tubing. And then they were supposed to give uh, statements. Of course, they are going to give statements under duress because they are afraid for their lives. Like, yeah, that comparison, I would accept this comparison. Also, listen to the two analysts on news station, Dubazana and Elton Hart. Both seem to be of the view that these statements are unlawful due to incompetence by the persons taking them and also the police not keeping within the constitutional rights of the arrested persons. What a big eye-opener this case is on our judi judicial system in South Africa. Not the judicial system, but the criminal justice system. Judicial system is what Rata is actually putting into dis disrepute. The criminal justice system, it is what Baloy is actually putting into disrepute together with the police. So, yes, I agree with this entirely. As a matter of fact, this very community called the clan has been saying exactly what Ms. Dubazan as well as Alton Hart have said in the analogies in the news channels. That is what I believe that we've been saying all this time. And as a matter of fact, the clan has gone even as far to say the defense should turn this entire defense into the constitution. Just read the constitution to the uh, to every witness that is going to take the stand that far within the trial, within the trial, as well as in the main trial. Just stick to the constitution. They will be all pinned against the wall, including the judge, and then win this case. Rita M says, hey, self-appointed experts. So my question is, how did these men get to be associated with this case and with each other? The state is yet to tell us. Well, I believe that they know each other from back home and some of them are even related one way or the other. So I think that question is a sort of answered as opposed to the other one. The state needs to tell us exactly where did they get these men from and why them? Why them? It's like we are watching this case in reverse. Why didn't Baloy tell us how the police cracked this case and got these five so far, Zungu is the only one who saw them, but the police wouldn't have known that because 
he only made the statement this year and there is no evidence yet that he had attempted to report it earlier and got turned down. Yes, that's true, but he kept saying, Oh, whatever. Charlotte, okay, not before Charlotte, is Victor who says these bad apples do not fall far from the Gininda. Which fall far from the Gininda tree, they corrupt leaders. <laughs> okay, uh, Charlotte says that that's why he gave them two hours adjournment without reprimanding Baloyi. But I also think he was embarrassed because I think it's the fourth time Baloyi. He did that. We don't know what exactly he was doing because he's supposed to have come back anyways and say, hey guys, uh, I'm I'm not happy with one, two, three, particularly with the state. But he didn't do it. Dicoliza says, even the judge was not impressed about the comment about human error. He was. He was like, he was actually mocking at um, Gomez Zulu when he kept saying uh, the human error part and I was like judge uh, how old are you again sir let's go to Oku says um, how can a person not charged go for pointing out isn't pointing out supposed to proceed after normal charging so the police acted like the judge pressing charges on a subject without the magistrate involved there's a lot of discrepancy, like I said, in this case. And this is the reason why Rata has absolutely no any other choice but to rule as per the Constitution. Lindy was says, this is uh, definitely the unfair trial indeed because uh, it seems like Rata is been covering Baloy from day one, J. Took, uh, since he took over this case, can we now get the right pe uh, people who kill Senzo Mewa? Please. That's all we ask. Victor says, Clantis long way kills Senzo without fear. I say so. Why did Chico travel to KZN before the case and give Senzo's mother money? Was it bribing her knowing what his son did? Why did he not go to KZN to visit Senzo's family after Senzo's death in 2014? I didn't even know that information, hey? Woo! Uh, Dumila says, good evening, team clan. Today, I just want to say thank you so much, my brother, for bringing us the hot summary of what was going on at the uh, court every day of the week. Hashtag keep it up. Keep up the good work. We are so proud. Kaze uizale. Oh, kaze yo kule litala. The coconut almost came out. Okay, Bongi West says, hi clan, I totally agree with you. He knew about the case. He was informed via telephone before departure from Northwest. They all lied under oath. I also don't believe that he didn't know. I also don't believe that he knew very well and he was instructed to do what he does best. You know, the torture. Or he instructed the police officers while he was driving there. He said, guys, these are the things that you need to do, one, two, three, in order for uh, no scratch marks are seen or any bruising is seen. Do this, do this, do this. When I get there, he'll be nice and ripe, and then he will make the confession. Tsikelo uh, says, Clantis, imagine subs refused to sign for me. They all ran away from me. They didn't want to be involved. I had no details about the case. I signed for the accused. I did not read what I signed. I overlooked ca uh, case number was there. He said he was in for a drug case. I took him to the drug uh, scene. He did not uh, know the way to the scene. Colleagues directed to the scene. He pointed a different slash murder scene. I wrote eight pages in 15 minutes. I am an interpreter. Zulu 100%. Essay is light camera action. <laughs> so basically, what uh, Chikelelo did, uh, okay, is it Chikelelo? So what Chikelelo did here was outline everything that this witness had said that were discrepancies that do not add up, that don't make sense. So basically, it's just saying South Africa, you feel you. I love y'all. 
Oh, Binyati says, I think there is a method to all of the madness of, uh, of detaining the suspect beyond 48 hours without appearing before a magistrate. Eventually, the accused will be discharged on this technicality and not because they are innocent. That way, they'll nullify docket 375. Vuyogazi says, Baloi and Gininda think we are fools. Their lies and corruption is out. And it's getting exposed one by one. Again, I keep saying it. I believe Sanzo Mewa is fighting. Is fighting until the person that killed him actually is arrested. And it's amongst uh, the six or seven people that were with him on that day when he died. Okay, the Bubu world. I have just listened to Advocate Dubazan uh, interviewed by Newsroom Africa about Danzi's arrest. She says Danzi must walk free for being detained for eight days before going to court. I agree. All the charges against him falls away because of the negligence slash misconduct by the police. According to Section 35 of our Constitution, I think the higher power is intervening now. Yes, Senzo is fighting. Senzo is fighting. Noma Tamsang says, can somebody come up with an action plan to put pressure on the state and judiciary to end this madness and activate 375? It is a madness indeed. Yo, uh, I can't see your, your, your handle. That's why. Okay, let me just read it again. Clancy's family, thank you so much for having you. I believe in you when you come to clarify, uh, for clar to clarifications. You are the best shame, especially in this case of Meiwa. You are uh, true. You are true. This okay. You are right. This Khatebe was taken from Northwest. Uh, this Kininda Kumele Aboshwe Ngalen Ngalen Senzo Ngalen Senzo Zake Zoku Koshakala. I'm so sorry that I can't see your hand, but I think I know who you are. I think I know who you are. It's just that I'm trying to remember. Rita M says, at four minutes, clapping and celebrating. Look at our coconut knowing confession in his zone. <laughs> right? <laughs> Tina says, I think Umalo was good as well when cross-examining the police officer. I believe so too. I liked his questions as well. Um, yeah, even though, even though Judge Rata was just being Judge Rata towards him. And I was like, be strong, sir. Be strong. Be strong. Don't be intimidated. Gattuso says, allegedly, the reason why those police refused was because they knew they'll be traced after torturing accused number one. So that one, that's why. So that is, so that one tortured and left to a far place. I believe that Baloi will squeeze another agent a witness and claim that they just completed statements now. That witness will, will be well trained than Zungu. I will not put it past, uh, past him exactly. I will not put it past him. Petro says this performer document needs serious amendments. I think so too. Um, Norma Vuso says either they watched each other's evidence or they have been into this for years. Same WhatsApp group. It's a possibility. High possibility they've been well trained way before the beginning of the trial. Yoliswa says that, that was my question, Clancy. So why fetching people all the way from so far and still using EMPD, whereas there are so many police roaming around the streets of Gauteng? Because they are the best torturers or uh, uh, what do you call experts in torturing. That is my just. This is just my assumption, guys. That's just my assumption. Because the dead giveaway, they were trained in 1980s to be police officers. And that time, who would train them? Who would train them? And for what purposes? You know, Charlotte says, uh, "Absolute true clan. He was lying through his teeth. Oh, he, he really was shame. He was." Okay, I'm going to read the last five and then we close uh, this self-appointed expert segment. Uh, Lindeni says, why Baloy always hand over the documents uh, under the last minute? It's clear, one and two, 
were easy targets for these confessions. Yeah, have younger ones and mix them with older guys. Yeah. Uh, Timo says, Judge was uh, nervous reading that judgment. Why? <laughs> I I'm interested to know too. Tandega says, hey family, I'm looking forward to watching as I miss the trial. Watching from the UK. Guys, Baloy is losing weight and he seems stressed. <laughs> I'll check him out today. Even though today it's a busy day. Uh, there might actually not be a video later on. I will see. We'll see. Uh, MXO says, I just feel the unfairness in this case. The rights of this accused were abused. True. Taco says, thanks for the case breakdown. You are very much welcome, Taco. Uh, Nibs, and Nibs says, oh, and Sib says, yes, he did say there were pictures of home and accused. I wish Nisi asked for playback. That is true. I think they will do that. I think they will go back to the hindsight and then listen to that part because he lied. He lied. Bulelani, if I can just put a little bit more of confidence on Gomezul, I think that strategy of being a little bit sne like uh what's the word? I think the strategy of him being a little snaily, I like it. You know, it 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 punch, it's got a like a, mm. You know that kick? I think I like it. I think I like it. But then again, I'm not going to dispute what you are saying as well because, you know, sometimes you want some energy in court, you know? Uh, like what Nisi brings when he's on the on the floor as well as, uh, uh, what her name, Shololo does when she's on the floor. There's energy there. There is, you know, that kick. I, I get what you are saying, but I think it's also a strategy because I have seen Gomezulu raise his voice before in this very trial. Uh, Tash says all that doesn't matter. Or Tash says all that doesn't matter. The vice judge has already made his judgment. Accused are guilty. Not in this constitutional democracy. I say he's pushed against the wall there. But I was with you not so long ago. Until I read the constitution and I was like, mm -mm, uh -uh, mm -mm. here's a strategy for the defense, the constitution. The last one is, okay, the second last one is, but, uh, is from Yvonne who says, Baloy and using underhand tactics, are, ew, it is so annoying and the judge don't even reprimand him since it's not the first time he's done this. Very true. And then Mlungis says, uh, evening, this Baloy think we are ordinary people are dumb. Every day he comes with weak witnesses, uh, witnesses. Ratha, Ratha should just recuse and accuse. Okay. Ratha should just recuse the accused and concentrate on Docket 375. Kanyenje. <laughs> Oh, and the state paid those guys on the dog for the grief they have caused them. Yeah, it's a hefty lawsuit that is coming, especially from accused number two. I think it's going for like 20 million rand for all of this that he has been put through. Possibly might get even more for uh, trauma, distress, uh, pain, uh, what do you call this, uh, pain and suffering. It's just going to add on and add on on top of the false arrest. And unlawful detention. Oh, you can see already the charges for a lawsuit are just piling up. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for contributing in the self-appointed experts comment. And also, I want to thank those that also uh, participated, but I could not get to your comments. Guys, there were a lot. Over a hundred, I think. Is it a hundred or ninety something around there? Thank you guys so much for always keeping the um thank you so much guys for always keeping the chat alive i appreciate you also i realized that uh you guys were pointing out that i made a mistake about the current witness i called him a different surname i think i called him Bata instead of Khadeb. i apologize that's what i will say i'm so sorry i'm so sorry for that mistake uh thank you for pointing that out i didn't even see it during editing 
But anyways guys, if you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a like. Anyways, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the self-appointed expert comments. And also, do not forget to share this video far and wide. And watch other YouTubers' videos as well. And like. Because you already know the like button, what it does. It grows the channel. Thank you guys so much. See you next time with a new video. Goodbye.